你要对台湾人来讲，哦，先看历史上，因为台湾是一个移民社会，因为乌水沟啊，就是即马所讲的台湾海峡、台湾海峡，伊是非常的波波涛汹涌安尼啊。啊，迄个时阵要渡海来台湾的时阵，真侪人带着故乡的生命。啊，留到台湾平安的以后呢，伊就甲祖乡、祖故乡的这生命呢，啊去，可能开始无庙、一个草料，也是讲连某某人因兜防晒掉的。台湾这个所在，拢也袂开垦，非常的一片荒野啦吼。啊，大家呢，就是讲有着一定有做这困苦，啊，心内一挂一挂无法度讲的代志，可能无法度解决的是，来求生命、破病、啥医疗，可能无法达，怕求生命，也是讲厝内底有做啥物困难，啥求生命，变做庙，伊。一个方面是做一个信用中心，是方面呢，可能做一个行政中心。蒙贾龙山 Temple was built in 1738 by settlers from Fujian, China. It served as a place of worship and a gathering place for Chinese settlers. Longshan is seen as an emblematic example of Taiwanese classical architecture, with southern Chinese influences commonly seen in older buildings. Attending worship has to do in order. Attending worship begins from a front hall and then a great hall ended in a back hall. There are seven censers for Guan Yin, Yu Huang, Xian Di, Ma Zu, Nazi, Sir's King, Sun Niang Niang, Wen Chang, and Empire Guan at the Longshan Temple. At the first, we come to attend worship at the front hall, where is a place crowded with people lighting and taking incenses or drawing blood. At the courtyard, there is a censer for Guan Yin, which are four dogs holding the censer's top, representing our grievance against the past colonial rule. Next is Yu Huang Xian Di, statue at the Great Hall. Besides the Great Hall houses Guan Yin statue, commonly known in English as a Goddess of Mercy. Guan Yin is revered in the general Taiwanese population due to her unconditional love, compassion, and mercy. Walking to the right side, there is the Bay Hall housing Ma Zu statue, Empire Wen Chang statue. Ma Zu is the indigenous Goddess of the Sea, who is said to protect the fishermen and sailors has a significant influence on East Asia sea culture, especially in China and Taiwan. Worship Empire Wen Chang is very popular with students on the right side of the back hall. People generally think Empire Wen Chang is in charge of examination, fate, and good food study. Therefore, students ordinarily pray for academic success or having wisdom. When they are going to attend the examination, they even take their admission to examination to Empire Wen Chang which is excellent grade. Him, which means people. And then you will see some... Today we chance to meet the visitors from Australia at Longshan Temple. The tour guide is introducing the tributes to Empire Wen Chang. For example, celery in Chinese sounds like diligence, and green onion in Chinese sounds like cleverness. Likewise, radish means good luck. When an examination is coming, People attend the worship with dumplings and steamed bones, which means the success of examination. At last, we turn to the left. This area houses Empire Grand Station. That's one of the best known Chinese historical features through East Asia. Guan Yu's deed has been lionized and is respected as a epitome of royalty and righteousness. To perform the ritual, one first make a wish and then toss the divination box. If both box land face down, your wish has very little chance of being granted. And if both box land face up, the gods don't have an answer for you. However, if the box land with one facing up and the other facing down, your wish will be granted. Today is an annual Buddha day, which is celebrating the festival of the birth of Sakyamuni Buddha. Buddha Festival is celebrating the festival or birth of Sakyamuni Buddha, and it is the largest celebration of the Buddhist. By watering the Buddha, who can resolve the problem and it can also promote social harmony. In the corner of Longshan Temple, there is a souvenir shop. 
Don't forget by something. It's not only for momentum, but also bless you.